press the buttons there we go good morning everyone welcome to sugar and crumbs my name's tracy man from tracy man cakes and it's thursday morning at half past 11 and therefore that means i'm on doing another demonstration so today's demonstration is going to be about painting a rabbit lollipop now the purpose of this is hopefully she says again in my mind i have this mad idea that i'm going to do uh use this on my cake on tuesday evening because i do demonstrations on tuesday evenings as well as a lot of you do know so I think if this turns out okay then it will be used in the cake demo on Tuesday evening at half past six so you'll have to come back and see what I do with it won't you <laughs> we'll do the paint today because uh, I haven't got time to do paint and cake on the same day it just all gets rather chaotic so um, that is what I'm going to do good morning to you all I can see a few of you logging in lovely to see you all um, thank you very much for joining me again on Thursday morning so it's cake painting this morning or uh, uh, chocolate painting I should say with some cocoa butter I still have very unusual colored hands because I have been using my airbrush so they're, they're marginally better than they were yesterday they are now less navy blue um, <laughs> than they were before because I'm actually doing new cake courses at the moment which means that I'm covered in paint I'm painting literally 24 7 at the moment uh, for those of you that haven't seen me before I do have an online cake painting school this address that's up at the moment is the page where we've got all our paintbrushes, dusting colours, bits and pieces, those sorts of things. Um, but this is where we do all our teaching. So this is our online cake painting school, which I know, looking at all the names that are coming up, a lot of you are well aware of anyway. And I am rapidly painting a brand new class at the moment, or brand new course. Um, so I've gone from royal icing across to painting again, and I'm actually already halfway through the first project this morning. So I say it's why I've had very unusual coloured hands for the last few days. So this morning I'm going to be painting uh, chocolate now we did paint chocolate on Tuesday night but we just did a tiny little bit so we're going to do a bit more tonight and then hopefully if this goes okay and I'm happy with it I'll use it on Tuesday evening on my demo um, when I do that on Tuesday evening at half past six um, don't forget to like and share thank you Maureen because I always forget so yeah don't forget to like and share all the um, demos on um, Sweet Success no, we're not. Sweet success with sugar and crumbs. Do you know why I just said that? Because I've just had an order from them. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I tell you, things are not in order today. Yes, we're on sugar and crumbs. Sweet success is where I get my cake from. And we all know that. So, because <laughs> I don't hide it. So baking is not really my forte. Decorating, love it. Baking, maybe not so. I need help there, you see. Right, so let's turn the camera away from me before I say anything else that I shouldn't say. <laughs> get in the wrong order. What am I on? And let's have a look at what we're doing today. There we go. Right, so we have got here... Um, this is one of our moulds, so this is the mould, let me take this down as well because that's going to get in our way isn't it? So this is one of my moulds, so this is from my website, so it's Tracy's Cakes, and this is a little rabbit that's holding a basket, so that's what we're going to paint this morning. I've got two here um, because I was meant to practice but I didn't get time, uh, didn't get chance. So I'm doing this for the first time, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine, and um, we're going to paint this little rabbit and we're going to then have it ready for... Um, next week so we've already did a little bit of painting the other day let's put that down there so we did these the other days so these are our cute little bunnies that we had with this little disc that we did on Tuesday and that was lovely I was very happy with that cake so if you've missed it you missed out Tuesday evening um, then either go back into sugar and crumbs and have a look or you can go to my YouTube channel at Tracy Man Cakes and you will find the tutorial in there but the cake is being picked up um, been picked up about half past one today and it's going off to Stoke Mandeville Hospital but I did put it on Facebook actually and I had a queue of people wanting it so um, the next one will go off to one of those other people that's put their their name up so I'm happy for that no problem at all so yeah these are the little bunnies that we made so we already did make a start on some cake painting doing these but we're going to paint all of this today um, ready for my little project on Tuesday because like I say I don't have a chance to do cake and painting on the same night it just becomes a little bit too chaotic so I'm going to put that over there there we go 
so that I don't burn. I'm always worried about putting my chrome food warmer on this board. So that's why <laughs> I don't tend to have my pink board out on a Tuesday night because I'm really worried I'm going to damage it. So if I put those two there, this is my little one, so I can't go too wrong there. Yeah, everybody liked the cake on Tuesday. I was really pleased with that one, I have to say. It's been, uh, every so often you get one that you just go, yeah, that was a great cake. And I did, I just loved it. It was fantastic. Oh, there you go. Nikki's just put the link up for this little rabbit. Now we had these in stock. They went immediately out of stock they are back in again highly unlikely I'm going to get any more now before Easter so once they're gone they're gone and that also applies to the little rabbits as well um, we've had a nightmare with Easter transfer sheets this year I've just given up I mean we just can't get them I think they're all stuck abroad somewhere um, right so let's get this lit so for those of you that haven't seen cocoa butter painting before this is a chrome food warmer and inside there is a tea light which is well burnt down because I've been painting all morning and oh no this is the worst box of matches ever this one but it's behaving at the moment I don't know what's the matter with it, but the side of it is awful. So just going to light that up, that's going to give us some heat, It'll give us our heat source, and then we're going to pop some cocoa butter onto the metal paint palette in a couple of places. Now, cocoa butter needs heat, it needs to stay warm, that's why we have this system under here, that's why this is here, to keep this hot, which means that melts, and then we can paint. So if you're gonna paint anything on chocolate, you have to use cocoa butter, you cannot use anything else. If you use gel or vodka or any of those type things, it will just slide off, and that's the end of it. So um, that's what's going to happen. So we don't wanna be doing that, we've gotta be using something that's gonna fix it to the cake. Um, so there we go, right. So we're going to use brown, let's put that colour in today. So just brown dusting colour. So these are the kind of things that you use for, let me bring this up. Okay, so that's brown dusting colour there. I just use sugar flare colours quite a lot. I do like them, I do have, but you can use anything. It really doesn't matter. Um, and then we've got white here as well. Pop some of that in because we want a bit of shading going on. And then also we are going to use, well, we'll use a little bit. Did I decide there was pink on here or not? Yes, I did. So a bit of dusky pink. So I'll pop that over there. And then I'm sure we're going to need some black at some point. Nine, nine times out of ten, as I say, I am making this up a little bit. There we go. Probably don't need as much as that. I don't know what it is about dust but you tip it out and it goes everywhere especially the black it's the worst um goes absolutely everywhere so those are the colors we're going to pick now when i teach i have paint brushes with numbers on them and because i have paint brushes with numbers on it helps me enormously to be able to say to people and now pick up brush number zero or one or two or whatever it is on there you can see them on there um Although last night when I started painting, the only brush I could actually find, I'd have got three zeros, which is very unhelpful, and brush number three. So I was rummaging a little bit last night. And in fact, what have I done with brush two? Because that's the one I want. And I did get it out. So I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Brush number two, um, which is the one that we're using here. Just again, just bear with me because I'm having to um, just quickly clean them up because I've literally stopped painting about two seconds ago to do the live and then I'm going to carry on. So once this is melted and you can see it's starting to melt already, all you do is just, if you're cleaning your brush, just dip your brush into the cocoa butter and then you can just twist it onto the kitchen roll or, ki or paper towel and that will then release the colour. You can go and use hot water and soap and all those things as well, but when you're actually painting, this is a lot quicker. When you get to the end of painting, you can always go and do that. There's not a problem there. I've actually got white on there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It only tends to matter when you're switching between sort of quite drastic colours. Now, I painted live, <laughs> what did I paint live? The lint, what was it, Teddy, just before Christmas. So the plan of action is to do something quite similar to that. Um, I don't really know how it's going to turn out, but we're going to give it a go anyway. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, but we're going to start by just taking our cocoa butter, which is still melting. I'm umming and ahhing whether this candle is actually doing anything. It is hot, yeah, it is. Um, dip it into the cocoa butter there to the white, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of brown, and we're going to make a nice pale brown colour to start with. That's going to be our base. So just pick that up. Well, we're just going to um, do a few sort of hairs and bits and pieces over the row. We're going to turn him a sort of a brownie colour but we're going to leave his base colour there. So what we're going to do is take our brush. I'm hoping I've got this in close enough. I'm going to turn it this way. Okay and I'm just going to take my 
brush like so. Now this is going to set quite quickly um, as you can see. So all we need to do, I've just got my brush up on its tip like so and we're going to avoid that piece of ear there. So I'm just going to, because I want that bit to be pink you see, so I'm just going to come down this side here. There we go, like so. So start at the top, so it sets really quickly and this is just going to give us a little bit of detail. You can paint down the sides if you want. Now this rabbit is actually going to be standing I think, so that's why I put a lollipop stick in on the cake I've got planned on Tuesday. So I am actually going to turn it and paint down the sides as well. like so along this side here and just across the top it's funny because when you're busy painting away and then you suddenly realize you've forgotten to paint the sides that's when you realize there's a bit of a, a problem you've forgotten You see what I mean? It doesn't need to be that much, but when you suddenly tip it on its side and realise you've missed it, um, it does look a bit funny. So we'll do that now. Like so. so we'll take it down towards the centre of that ear there that's marked. What's so nice about painting lollipops is it's all marked out for you. So anyone who says, oh, I can't paint, I can't draw, any of those things, um, it's actually all here for you. So it's nice and easy. You can just... do that like that and follow along so I'm just literally going to change the colour of him basically and hopefully you can take a starring position in my cake on Tuesday night <laughs> so yeah we do have a spammer I am ignoring it so thank you whoever's done that for me so again we have got just turn that round there a little bit, hopefully you can see my hand's not in the way too much. Yeah, the colour's very pale to start with and that's normal, but it will get darker. So, yeah, you won't be able to see that much at the start, but you will be able to see a definition between the ears and that. Okay, if I hold that up like that, you'll be able to see there's a definition coming between the two. We are starting off pale. Um, I've done worse things on here, I've done more all white and you can't see it, but we'll get through it, so that's why. So it's a nice pale colour to start with, I don't want it to be too dark too quickly, otherwise it will be too much. So I'll just go along there. I'm trying to stick to a bit of a colour scheme with um, Easter at the moment. I'm trying not to go too wild. I nearly did lime green on Tuesday night and I'm glad I didn't otherwise that would have been too much. <laughs> right so we're now down onto the rabbit itself and again we're just going to make it a tiny bit darker. Just come down onto the base of the rabbit. Just lots of little tiny as you'll see it changing as I go down. There you go, you can see it looks like he's got a, a funny hairdo now. And just come down the centre here. Like so, and we'll just turn the fur that way. And his eyes. And to his nose. And change direction. Okay. Don't forget this is only the first layer. We're not going to go wild with it, but we're certainly going to just give it more than one layer. Okay, let's see what's going on. Like so. Then don't forget the sides as well. So I just need to tip it there and just, you don't actually have to do much detail on the sides. You just kind of need the color there really. So you can just kind of just take your brush and 
it's only really the front of it that you're looking for a colour in the right place. Oh, it's going a bit dark there now, but that's okay. Go that way now. So you picked up an extra bit of brown there. And we'll spread that through. If you make a mistake with chocolate, if you've got a scriber, and I know quite a lot of you've got scribers because we've been using them a lot in royal icing, um, you can always kind of scratch off the mistakes. So don't panic if you make a mistake when you're painting on chocolate, as long as it's not huge. You know, I don't want to scratch off the whole thing, but um, if you do make a mistake, then you can go back and sort it out. There's always ways around most things in cake. Um, just because you've made a mistake, actually some of the best best things can come out of making a mistake. Well, number one, you won't do it again, but <laughs> um, you know, you can always backtrack and add a flower or something to cover it up. I never worry too much about my cakes being totally perfect or anything because I can always do something to make sure that the finished result looks perfect. Now, it, round here, I've, I've took a good long look at this to try and decide what was going on round there. This, I think, is a bow of some description. So I'm going to assume that is a bow because he's kind of skipping towards us. And I think that's his arm here with the basket of an Easter, with an Easter egg in it. So that's how I've taken this bit here. It's a sort of a necktie bow thing. So I'm going to skip over that bit and come back to it. Tell you what, he looks like one of those kind of vintagey type bunnies. Do you know what I mean? There are people of a certain age will know what I mean here. That includes me. Um, I think he looks really sweet. All right, we've got a little bit of extra brown going on there. Let me just pull that back. There we go. You can always pull it back before it sets. Okay. So it's all there for you because there's his eyes. Up there. I'm just going to go back up there. There we go. Right, so that's his necktie, so we're going to come there. Next, we'll move that bit. So anybody who's doing these, I keep seeing on Facebook all these treat boxes. They fascinate me. And they fascinate me because I'm interested what people put in them. I don't want to make them particularly, but I am interested what people do with them. Um, and it is quite, um, quite interesting, actually. So don't forget to like and share while I'm busy painting. That will be very helpful. Um, I have to remember to remind myself to tell people to like and share because I have a terrible memory. There we go down like that. So again, just remember we're avoiding that bit in the middle. And keep the brush up on its tip. So we're getting a bit of sort of fur effect here going on. Uh, it sets quite quickly. Cocoa butter tends to set um, one to two minutes. It's really quick. So when I go back and touch that, it's dry already. Although I do have a blue finger currently. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, look, I have scrubbed my hands this morning and they're still, they're still blue. You can tell I'm doing a, a, a new cake that's navy blue. I know, honestly. I've tried everything. It'll come out eventually. But the, for the, currently I'm walking around with very, um, very dark coloured hands. <laughs> You get used to it actually after a period of time and people are used to seeing me with unusual colours. Okay. So the basket's there and the Easter egg is there and I guess we could do the Easter egg whatever colour we wanted really, couldn't we? We could do like um, a polka dot one or something. We'll paint the basket like a traditional more sort of dark brown colour. We'll get to the bottom of this first. Okay. Okay, so we've gone over him completely, but again, just don't forget these side bits. And we'll just nip back here and just do these. And just go around there. So the kind of creamy colour base is going to help us here as well. Don't forget that's where the tie is. So we need to skip that bit and then move down here. Where are we? Yep, yeah, so down this side. So look, there's no exact science to this. You can see I'm literally just sort of putting the paint on, not making too much of a fuss about this. What I am going to do though is break that back a bit because that's where the lollipop stick is. Just take that back a bit. There we go. And I don't want that random bit of chocolate in the way. And there we go. 
हैं Yeah, I know. You should worry about the colour of my hands. My students should anyway. <laughs> I'm doing something that's totally out there at the moment and I thought I'm not sure if this is going to work, but it is working. So I'm really pleased at the moment with what's going on. So I'll let you know as soon as I know. But it's, um, yeah, not what I expected at all. I had this idea in my head. I thought, I wonder if this will work and it has. So I'm chuffed to bits at the moment. All good for you. <laughs> right, we've got the bunny to this stage, but we're going to paint the Easter egg, um, which is in the basket over here. So we'll take this brown and make it darker. Okay, so just add a bit of the um, bit of this in there. We're just the basket's there, so we'll just follow that along. And then there's an Easter egg sat in there, which we'll paint. I don't know. We'll do it maybe pink and. Put some dots on it or something, I don't know, something like that. That's the handle. And that comes around like that. And then let's go into there. Then I think this bit here is the rabbit's hand. So you put the handle up to that point, so don't get carried away here. And then you need to switch back to this colour because that is the rabbit's hand, which we will make look uh, stand out more when we go back. I'm just going to soften that down a little bit there. We're going to repaint that basket until it's nice and dark. It's not quite there yet. It will be when we um, let it dry. We've got some mini eggs in it, yummy. We've been talking about those on Tuesday night, haven't we? Again, you can take it round a bit further, like so. Once you've kind of established where it is, then you can you can move your paint out to try and work out where your basket is first. There we go. That's better. Okay, you can see that's standing out now been using my new cookie cutters have you seen the new ones yet <laughs> I've realized that I've now become addicted to designing cookies I just think they're amazing and I think this is why I'm fascinated by treat boxes at the moment because I keep looking in them and going oh look at that well, that's an interesting idea so yeah I've become a little bit addicted to them right so there we go so we've got the basket on there again it's not quite finished but I'm just going to bring that down a little bit further and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch brushes because I can, because this one is next to me to a zero. And we'll just take some of this pink, we'll make it neat dusky pink, and we're just going to paint that Easter egg, I think. We'll go pink. Traditional Easter colour, obviously. <laughs> and just pop that one in there as well. It's got a pink Easter egg, a large mini egg. a little bit so we'll make it a little bit darker in a second just add in a bit of extra there we go that's better yeah if your paint's too thin you just need to put an extra cocoa butter and then it gets a bit thicker you see there we go okay so that's the easter egg there lovely now what we'll do is put that down and oh should we have a matching bow i think we should let's do that i have a pink bow so we will paint this in while we've got the pink on the go so you can coordinate with your Easter egg. I'm just chatting away to myself here, talking rubbish about, <laughs> about the Easter Bunny. I haven't actually told you other stories about the Easter Bunny. I'm sure, I can't remember if I did tell you all last year or this year, but um, one of my friends has one of these costumes, you know, like the, um, the full-blown Easter Bunny costume. And we share this costume, I'm not joking. And we walk, we hop around the village. <laughs> I like Vicar of Dibley has an Easter bunny. Well, my friend and I, we are the Easter bunnies of this village and we love it and it's so much fun. It is absolutely hilarious. And um, yeah, that'll be coming out again soon. I'll post a picture so you can have a good laugh, but it's very funny. All these things you're finding out about me now, you see. <laughs> I 
I'm not doing a demo as an Easter bunny though. I'm just going to point that out because I probably will be too hot. This costume is extremely full on. Um, <laughs> right, I'm just going to put a little bit of white in with the pink. So I want to do his ears, but I don't want them to be the same colour as the bow. I think that might be a little bit too much. So there we go, a little bit paler for the centre of those ears. So they're not quite as drastic as the... Okay, so far so good. Let's put you down there. Right, let's do um, let's do the centre of the eyes. I'm just looking at this eye shape; it's unusual. Okay, so I've got my zero brush at the moment because it's. And actually, what I'm going to do is paint that entire area white, and then we'll go back in and sort it out later. So it's going to look like he's got the world's biggest eyes at the moment. That's okay. side as well it's a little bit raised and I think that's where the black's meant to be but that's okay we'll come back to that this is where your scriber comes in quite handy if you're trying to do something like eyes you don't want it to go too wrong you see um, why not I tell you Nikki you tried it <laughs> this costume is extremely full-on but there's no way I'm doing a demo as the Easter Bunny because I will not survive <laughs> After about 15 minutes, I'll be on the floor. Okay. All right, so there we go. So we've got the... And again, we will go back when this is dry and just make it a little bit whiter still to make sure we get the depth there. Okay, right. Now, we've done that. So we're going to go back now to... Let's change the brush go back to number two again. We're going to darken the colour up a little bit. So we'll grab some of the brown... We're just going to go over the bunny again. Just add a bit more fur. We don't want it to end up being as dark as the basket. All right, we want that to stand out. So we'll go back over. So we'll go back over again. This won't take as long because you've already got a layer there. There you go, you see? See, I'm going to put him down actually for a second just while I do this bit because I can't quite see what I'm doing. If I move my hand that way, you should be able to see. I just want it to be a little bit darker there. I don't want it to be too dark because I don't want that kind of colour scheme. Well, you can hear ambulances going past here. I live on, well, I don't live, my unit's on the main road, so you get a We've had quite a few go past this morning, it's obviously busy today. Right. Again, we'll just go around like that. Yeah, it's one of these like vintagey type rabbits, I reckon this looks like. Um, what's that one that used to be on all the adverts? I'm trying to think now. I can see it. From one of the chocolate adverts, someone will know. Tell me what it is. The minute you say it, I'll know. Okay, I'll just come down this side here as well. Take this over the top. I'm reading you're dressed for the occasion for my live this morning. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you can see the difference coming between the two now. Come down here. So yeah, if you make a little mistake of anything, I've clipped that bit there, I can always scratch that off, but I won't do it for the moment, I'll just carry on. And then we'll come down here. So 
So I'm going to use this um, on Tuesday, I think, if it goes okay, um, on my cake. So if you ever do anything like this, you can always do this as like a bit of a feature. Or if you just enjoy doing a little bit of painting, it's quite a nice thing to do. Just remember, if you are making up uh, chocolate lollies, just to make sure they're at room temperature before you start painting them. Otherwise, you'll find the cocoa butter will set immediately and then you won't be able to control it. So you need to do your chocolates, put them in the fridge and then set them and then bring them back out and then leave them out for about 20 minutes before they then reset. Reset before they then uh, go back to room temperature. I'm losing my mind this morning. Okay, there we go. How are we doing? Yes, I did temper the chocolate. If you want to see a video on tempering chocolate again, you can go into sugar and crumbs, or you can go across to my YouTube channel, and there is a video on there about tempering chocolate, a really short one. Um, but I've done it many, many times on here. So many times. So there's loads and loads of opportunities to see that being done that's not a problem come down this side here I'm just going to go a bit further into his eye because they're quite deep set around here so I'm trying to keep this as fine as I can I don't particularly want it to be too harsh. There we go, it's looking okay, isn't it? And we'll go along here as well. Right, so we'll come around this side now, almost along camera as I am. going around his nose there weirdly his nose is in rather than out that's just the way the mold's set up but that's okay we know it's there we'll come back and pop that in shortly okay they always look a bit um out there when you're doing them so there's all the details always with painting it's always the last details that make everything look lovely up to this point you think what is she doing um, <laughs> including me I am also saying these words to myself what am I doing especially when I haven't painted some lip before and I haven't had time to do this one this morning because I was too excited about painting my new course so I thought right this will be fine but so far we're okay and we have plans for you Margaret, you're going to be starring on the cake on Tuesday if you pass the, the Tracy Mann test. <laughs> if I'm happy with you. Not that I'm fussy, but I am really, really fussy, aren't I? Only with my work, not everybody else's, just mine. Yeah, don't be put off. I'm not. I'm not the, like the world's worst teacher. I'm not busy <laughs> telling you it's rubbish or anything. No, no, no. I'm only fussy with myself. Really bad. There you go. This little leg down the bottom. Right there. Okay. Right. Let's go down. So he's got his. Uh, there's a line there. So we're going to reinforce that line there. And there's another one there, a bit more extra colour in there. Someone's watching on the wrong day. Who's that, Donna? <laughs> if you've missed, I am three quarters of the way through. So if you've missed this, that will be on YouTube. I'll put it onto YouTube later today, but you'll also be able to go back and watch it live on here as well. But you have to watch the pre-recorded live, but this is just brown. 
brown dusting colour. So I'm going to just enhance those little bits there. Like that. Okay, so we've near enough gone back over him again. Again, just don't forget the sides. the bottom although we're not really going to see that bit to be honest because it's going to be in the cake now we've got quite a lot going on over here so I think what we need to do is extend this round a bit let's get the polka butter going on here that's his hand and then it switches over to his to the basket so we need to go darker when they're gone they're gone well done Sheila <laughs> made me laugh they do I can't get them like I just can't get them honestly it's because everything's coming from abroad it is everything is held up everywhere it's a nightmare I'm sure Carol's been telling you various things about things stuck everywhere well it's true and such strange things that you would never have anticipated would ever get stuck are getting stuck like my paintbrushes although we are back in stock with paintbrushes again so I'm very happy about that but so I didn't see that one coming. Had I seen that one coming, I would have ordered hundreds of them. But I have done now. So there we go. We're just going to take the just taken the um, lid of the basket across there. His hands there, because that's a little bit lighter. But I think that's his hand. Anyway, I'm pretty certain that's what's going on there. There we go. Right. Let's put you down for a second. Right. Let us put. The, let's clean the brush, get that out. Let's go back and have a look at the eyes and the nose. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to just umming and ahhing about whether to make his nose black or brown. I think what I'll do is I'll take some black, but I'll just put in a tiny little bit of white just so it's not too harsh. So I'll make it more of a kind of dark grey colour. Let's see what that does. Or should we do pink? Uh, now she's dilemmering herself. Okay, well now we'll try pink. If I do pink, you see, and it's wrong, then I can always... Yeah, oh no, pink's better. Let's do pink. Let's have a pink nose. There we go. I'm just going to bring a little line down there, though. Now his mouth is here. Now it's quite big, actually. There's quite a big sort of... Um, dent going on a dent you know um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the brush down where I can feel it sort of going I'm not going to fill it in yeah okay let's go around I don't want him to end up with like the most enormous mouth ever otherwise that would look really weird I'm going to turn the ends up on the rabbit a little bit and I can fill that bit in underneath let's go back with the brown I'll just change brushes pop that in there let's take that down I'm not sure if it's going to end up giving him like big lips or something that's what I'm trying to avoid make it go down a little bit further there we go. That's far enough, I think. Got a general idea, haven't we? There we go. And now what we need to do is we'll do the eyes here. So we will do these in black because we need those to be jet black. So we'll go back and just mix up a little bit more black. And we'll put you can actually feel where this is. There's like a little sort of raised bit of chocolate there, so I'm just going to pop that in there. He's going to be staring initially, and that's until we put the little white dot in, so don't sort of think, what is she doing? That's what I'm doing. I've got to dry first before we can put the little bit in. And then there's another bit there. So he's staring quite heavily at the moment, but that's all right. 
Now, what we'll also do is we will do some eyelashes, I think. What brush have I got here? Number two. Right, let's go down to, let's make this easier for myself, go down to a zero. Make this a little bit more amenable. So what we'll do is we'll take brush zero and just do this in the sort of grey colour. We'll start there on the inside edge and we'll come up. You can feel this because it's dropped down on the mould. There we go, and give us some eyelashes. So I'm adding to it now. Oh yes, that's better. She's having a makeover. <laughs> oh, that looks fun, doesn't it? Right, now let's get this going the opposite way. So we'll start that point there. More, I think coming off the brush. Now I've got too much. So now we've got one eyelash, we need another one. It's gone a bit light. There we go, that's better. Right, let's extend this a little bit. Just remember that we've got to put the white in the eyes yet, so the rabbit is staring at the moment. Once that dries out, we'll be able to sort that out. Try and make the eyes a little bit bigger. So if you make a mistake, you can always go back and use your scriver to undo it. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. There you go, look at that. Bunny's got eyelashes. <laughs> I'm only going to do the top half. I'll tell you why, because if you do the bottom half as well, it will look too bit too much. I don't want to do that. I just want it to be um, fun, I think, not over the top. Okay, right, let's clean the brush up again. And then what we'll do this time just add in a bit of extra to switch back to brush two a second get some of this dusty pink colour I'm just going to put in a little bit of extra at the bottom here up into the paler colours you remember we did this as a paler colour there we go so there's a bit of shading going on there in those middle ear and then what we'll do now we've done that, haven't we? We did that the same colour. I've just missed a little bit there. So let's just put that in there. And we'll go back to the brush I was just cleaning a second. And we'll make that, make up some white. So just need, you need it quite thick. Um, and we'll put some spots on that Easter egg. Maybe on the, so we'll just put some little tiny... white spots like that she's got a chic very flash and then we'll do the same over here we'll give her some spots on her cravat or bow or whatever it is she's got on there you go oh yeah that looks nice because that then matches that She's coming on her own, isn't she? <laughs> She's very sweet. She's coming to life, aren't you? I think we're just going to put a little bit of extra. We'll just do a little bit of white at the bottom of there as well. There we go. Right, I'm just going to go back and tidy up the basket and then we can do the eyes because I'm sort of waiting for those black centres to dry. 
I can't do anything more with those until they do. Now the basket, they've kind of tried to make it look like a bit of a weave going on here. So what I've done is I've got my um, black and I've just mixed it with the brown. I'm just going to kind of go over this a little bit here. It's sort of got, oh, well, they've attempted some sort of basket weave, I think. That's what they've tried to do, I think, on that side. So we'll just go around the outside edge of it. I'm going to have to turn it round, I think, to get to this side properly. Otherwise I'll be painting all the wrong bits and just come round there where the hand is. So we're kind of splitting that up. Don't end up with that being over there. Is that right? Yeah, that's better. You can always go, I mean, if you wanted to put pattern on the basket, you could, you know, you can always, you don't have to do the basket brown, you could do it something else, couldn't you? It's entirely up to you. You can paint it a completely different colour. I'm just going to flatten that down a little bit. I'm just going to go back into that bit from there where his hand is and just get that to make a bit more sense. Posh bunny, yeah, very posh bunny. Okay, that looks a bit better. Right, okay, let's do the eye. Let's make sure we've got no brown in here, otherwise we're going to end up with it. So always the most important bit when you come to do anything like this is the little tiny dot in the eye that makes that look alive there we go look at the difference huge difference i would put a little tiny one on his nose as well because that's important there we go and there you have it there we have a nice little easter bunny <laughs> all ready for tuesday night um, you can always go back if you want to once it's dry if you want to add a few more bits and pieces to it i might have a little look at the mouth again when I'm off camera, just see what I, if I want to change anything to it. But you know, you can add in um, darker colours here and there if you want to. You can just keep playing with it. So you can put in some extra kind of hairs. This is my zero, yeah, it's my zero zero brush actually, it's my smallest one. Um, but if you get, it's good for getting right into some of these details up here if you wanted to sort of outline it a little bit around the ears can help as well. Scribers are good for painting in case you make any mistakes you can do that there. Right. Also you have to learn to stop because I am a bit of a nightmare for carrying on as my painting students know. I must have said last night about four times and now I finished. Oh no let's do this. Oh no now we finished. No let's do this. It just carried on. <laughs> so yes. Stop 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 stop. Right, there we go. I'll hold it up so you can have a little look at her. So we've gone from this to this. So there she was originally. So that's what she looks like. So with a little bit of time spent painting, you can transform something um, very easily into a very cute bunny, I think. That's actually, when I'm looking at it on camera, um, looks fab. I'm really pleased with that, actually. Um, it's not a particularly expensive mould. There's three rabbits on one mould it's quite a big lolly um but there's three ma three rabbits on one mold there you go that's what it looks like and you will need to temper your chocolate don't have to put in a chocolate lolly if you don't want to you can just do it as a rabbit itself i'm going to say mine's on a, a lolly because i'm going to use it on my cake on tuesday night you'll have to tune back in now on tuesday evening to see what i'm going to do you see <laughs> i have done this before you know i've i <laughs> i have done some advanced painting before um a main um, cake construction it just helps me to get things um, together but there you go so if you want to do something complicated you can do that or if you fancy doing something really nice and simple and just want to paint um, ears nose and mouth then you've got this option as well so there's lots of different options for Easter you don't have to just do um, something uh, really basic I mean it's lovely when you get it out of the mold you can see what it is and eat it but it's even more lovely if you've got if you've got time to paint them up and it doesn't take very long I've been live 50 minutes of which I've been chattering away um, I'm sure you would do it much quicker without me being distracted by everything but there you go there are a couple of options there for Easter so you can see just how 
different they are in size as well to give you a bit more those are called um bite-sized bunnies i think whereas this one here is something like rabbit in a basket or rabbit with a basket i don't know <laughs> it's on the website somewhere um but if you want to look at the molds i'll put the address up now that's where they are and all the cocoa butter paints to do this so i used a brown i used dusky pink i used black and i used white so very straightforward colors um yes there will be mini eggs involved on tuesday evening because they are although i need to go and get some more because i may have finished that packet uh, <laughs> i did i did use them all I didn't just have them, um, I promise you now, I didn't eat them all. I was very good. Kelly did. I don't tell her she's not here, you see, so I can say that. Um, thank you very much for joining me this morning for our little rabbit painting. I will pick you up. There you go. <laughs> see, it's quite big. Mouth size, maybe two or three mouthfuls. Um, I will be back on Tuesday at half past six on Sugar and Crumbs. I won't be here for the next two Tuesdays because the following Tuesday or following Thursday, I've got my COVID vaccine in the morning. What a lucky girl I am. And then the following Thursday after that is just before Easter and I will be tearing around with cupcake bouquets again. So this is the last Thursday for a couple of weeks, but I will be back on Tuesday evenings at half past six doing another Easter cake this week. So if you're looking for Easter inspiration, then that's where you need to go. Yeah, I'm still here. Don't worry, I've not gone anywhere yet. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining me this morning i hope you've had a nice morning and i'm looking forward to seeing all these rabbits painted you see um now i've done it you have to follow it up you see and actually do it yourself so have a lovely day take care and i'll see you all soon bye for now